Deontay Wilder's coach, JD's, claimed that his fighter had an injury during training camp. JD's also says Wilder is firing in all cylinders, meaning he's completely healthy. There will be no excuse in this fight. Dees also said we should expect a more patient Wilder. And this is great news for boxing fans because we have no excuses in this fight. Tyson Fury will be in great shape. Deontay Wilder will have no injuries. No excuses, the best man wins. And other news concerning Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder said in a recent interview that Dillian White had plenty of opportunities and openings to fight him, he just didn't take him. Sounds to me like Wilder saying Dillian White ducked him. Deontay Wilder still being a coward and still running as usual, you know, I've been number one challenger for 800 days, you know, and, and I'm still in a... Wilder said White backed away from two eliminators. One was Luis Ortiz and the other was Dominique Brazil. White fires back and says he's got documents proving that he didn't walk away from those fights. He said it's on the contrary. I requested and accepted these fights. He said him and his team made the fight with Dominique Brazil, but the WBC pulled him out to fight Deontay Wilder. That sounds like the same thing that happened to Anthony Joshua when Anthony Joshua was supposed to fight Luis Ortiz, or at least he offered Luis Ortiz $7 million. The PBC pulled Luis Ortiz out and he fought Deontay Wilder for less. And that's what Deontay Wilder's fanboys try to use against Anthony Joshua. Oh, he never fought Luis Ortiz. He was scared to fight Luis Ortiz. They forgot about the $7 million offer Anthony Joshua had once Baby Miller became dirty. I'm on Dillian White's side. Dillian White's been the number one contender for a long time. And according to him, he's been the number one contender since 2017. White says, I want to fight Deontay Wilder. I don't care about anybody else. He needs to stop being a coward and fight me. You know, if Dillian White did fight Deontay Wilder, I would pick Deontay Wilder to knock Dillian White out. But it's the principle of it. He should be fighting Dillian White because he's the number one contender. Like the rest of the PBC top fighters, they say, well, he's garbage. He's not that good. He's a liar. He's not even at my level. But they won't fight these guys. They will make any excuse in a book not to fight this guy. They do with Anthony Joshua, and they do it with Terrence Crawford. Even though I picked Deontay Wilder to beat Dillian White, they know it's not easy work. If it was easy work, they would take it because that's what they do, fight tomato cans. And I want to finish by talking about Javante Davis. Javante Davis took a very good look at Adrian Broner. A lot of people had Adrian Broner be the next Floyd Mayweather. He had the talent, was a better puncher than Mayweather was. Mayweather had a better defense. But what also Mayweather had was discipline focused and that's what made Mayweather great even though I'm not a big Mayweather fan I respect his work ethic so Javante Davis could look at Adrian Broner it's not too late for him to change everything around get focused stop hitting women and become the next star of boxing leave your thoughts in the comments below hey, JBZ subscribe to the channel I'm gone